Good morning, good evening, good day. <clears throat> this is JD. <coughs> well, to talk a little bit about a few things. A lot of times you hear the World War II period as the Americans' generation was the greatest generation ever was. What makes them so different than us today? One, men worked the soil and tilled the land in a hotland. Two, people worked the factories by the sweat of their brow. And the immense cities, people put the ribs to the skyscrapers. What made them so different was that they all worked together. The women who were housewives and young ladies just going into the world and were used to being secretaries or something of that nature were suddenly the factory mill workers. The women who had the rivet gun the drills, the welding machines, while the men who used to work the fields, used to rivet the metal, used to weld the steel girders, were now overseas to vast numbers. Today, we have added to our military the women also. But what makes that generation great was that generation was not separated by the what's in it for me syndrome. <clears throat> and our government was not in it to the what's in it for me syndrome. The survival of the nation, the survival of the people, the survival of an ideal depended on each and every American working together. And what is this getting to? Well, there's something out there today. And what I am trying to do is to get each and every one of you to realize that our nation needs each and every one of you to work together. We have two major political parties, the Republicans and Democrats. They are political parties. They represent the po political policies that they want the government to follow. And I keep telling you, check out the Constitutionist Party. What kind of political party is that? It's not, it's not meant to be a political party. It has nothing to do with politics other than the Constitution and the way it is written. It is not a socialist party. It is not a communist party. It is not a Democrat party. It is not a Republican party. It's a party of people. Political parties we have been warned from our very first constitutional president, our first commander-in-chief, our first general of the army. <clears throat> We're talking George Washington. Politics is not the goal of the American government. A nation of people is its sole 
purpose. People working together, knowing each are individuals of different types, but accepting each and every one of them, and all realizing they are important to the proper functioning of our government. No one person is greater than the least or lesser of any other person. And no one person is lesser than the greatest of any other person. That is what our Constitution is all about. A government to serve the people. The Constitutionist Party. If you read it, it's political agenda. Oh wait, there is none. It has none. Because the Constitution outlines that the Constitutionalist Party shall be a party of the people, by the people, for the people. Not a political party with a political agenda. Neither socialist or democrat. Neither conservative or liberal. None of these. But yet, at the same time, a little bit of everything. As the Constitution lays out at his is written. Remember the warning of George Washington about political parties. And understand, a political party has very strong this belief. Ask not what your country can do for you. Ask what you can do for your country. Where the country our founding fathers found had a belief that a government only exists to serve its people. Those two thoughts must be combined. The people must believe, as Kennedy said, and the government has to believe, as our forefathers said. As of now, it's backwards. The political parties feel you must not ask from the government, but to, to serve. And that is your only reason for existing, which is not true. And you say that the government must only serve me, for I am the person. And again, that's not true. It's backwards. And that's what political systems give you. A backwards, failed, functioning American government that does not function as what was originally. So, as every day goes by, the Constitutionist Party grows one by one. And as that happens, a new policy is being set up. A government to serve the people. A government that must ask of itself what is it and how is it that I can serve and maintain our national citizens dignity right to life 
right to happiness while still performing the political systems that are needed to ensure a fair, just, serving government for each and every American citizen that walks within our borders. That is what must be asked. While at the same time, the farmer who tills the land, the construction worker who builds the stru structures, the steel workers who mold the machines, no matter what your religious belief is, no matter what your sexual orientation is or preference is, you are all, each and every one of you, American citizens. And only when you realize you are there to make our government fair and just. And yes, you will ask of yourself, what is it I must do to make our country great but ensure that our political system also asks what is it that the political system must do to ensure the prosperity of each and every American. It has to be turned around. Our people need to start saying again, not what our government can do for me, but what I can do for the government. While our government says, not what the people to serve us, but we are to serve the people. They need to be turned around. Too many of you people out there say, government, give me, government, give me, I want from the government. And too many politicians and political systems out there say, you shall serve. We are the government. We have the authority. You shall serve. It's coming backwards. So we have two political parties, the Republicans and the Cons Democrats. The Republicans and Democrats. And we have another party which cannot be labeled as a political party. The Constitutionists. Not Constitution Party, not Constitutional Party, none of those. The Constitutionists. Spelled C-O-N-S-T-I-T-U-T-I-O-N-I-S-T. -I -I and if you want to know the definition, just type in www the Constitutionist Party dot com. Read it. It is a party to serve the people and to unite. So the people can stand together and say, We are here for our government while our government is here for us. And that's what it's all about. And that is where it is wrong. Because as it stands now, it is government, you exist for us, and the people, the government exists for us. Everybody is taking, taking, and taking. But worst of all, the politicians are taking the Constitution and making it into a political machine which shall never, if they have their way, serve the American people. And the Constitutionist Party is to ensure that the government of the United States of America shall always serve the people while the people are doing their job 
to ensure a proper government. Thank you. This is JD. Check it out, the Constitutionist Party. Read what it says. Read its bylaws. Above all else, understand the Constitutionist Party is to ensure that the Constitution of the United States of America, as it is written, shall always, to the end of time, remain the supreme law of this land and this nation, and that our governmental system shall serve the people as the people serve the nation. No one in this country is a me individual. Thank you. This is JD.